Hey there, quirky people. I am your host, Anna, and today we're going to look into the future with a major element of the past. Back in 2019, Tony Stark made the biggest sacrifice in cinematic history. And I am Iron Man. And it's safe to say that people haven't been able to move on from that till now. They're left asking whether Iron Man could still return in the MCU. Well, with projects like Ironheart, What If? Marvel Zombies and Avengers Secret Wars headed our way, we can make a safe bet that yes, there are multiple ways through which Iron Man could return. But before I get to those, it would be amazing if you guys would hit the subscribe button and support our channel. Okay, so the first way Robert Downey Jr. could return is as an AI. Secure server, retinal scan verified. Pepper, it's me. Got a lot of apologies to make and not a lot of time, so first off, I'm so sorry I put you in harm's way, that was selfish and stupid and it won't happen again. In the comics, Tony Stark recruited Riri Williams and became her mentor. But after that, he gave her an AI that carried his own voice. So it was like Tony himself was aiding Riri for everything. Something like this could be an interesting concept for the MCU, and Marvel could take this approach. But there are a few issues that reside with this idea. First of all, anything with Robert Downey Jr. is going to be expensive for the studio. So, even him voicing an AI would take a million dollars out of their budget. Shit. Hearing his voice might feel good, but someone as legendary as Tony Stark being turned into a minor voice of an AI could diminish his character. And you've also got to think that the first ones who would have got Tony's voice-assisted AIs are Morgan and Peter. So, how come Peter, who was Tony's true protege, got an AI like Edith? But Riri, who has probably never even met Tony, would get one that's personally voiced by him? It doesn't make total sense, right? So instead of this, we could look at the second idea, which is a flashback. That's how I wish it happened. We reckon that a project like Ironheart could really benefit from a flashback scene involving Tony Stark. This flashback could be similar to how Tony helped several MIT students by funding their projects back in Civil War. As in, all of your projects have just been approved and funded. Riri could be seen watching an old video of Tony Stark, making yet another generous donation to help students like her. But this time, it can be a new and special scene that Robert Downey Jr. would shoot. Or one of his newly shot flashback scenes could be used in the Kang Dynasty or Secret Wars. Speaking of those two movies, Tony could be brought back in them through time travel. Tony obviously invented time travel on Earth 616's sacred timeline and it is possible that Kang used Tony's findings for his own time travel explorations. So, a movie like The Kang Dynasty, where multiple Kangs are going to be involved, could certainly use time travel to bring back its inventor, that is, Tony Stark. The fallen hero could be brought to the present day to help in the battle against Kang, but that would probably create a branch timeline when Tony goes back. So instead of having a Tony from the same timeline, Marvel could use the multiverse. With Secret Wars being a full-on multiverse movie, we could surely have people like Tony Stark and other OG Avengers returning as alternate Earth variants. This could be a movie where the OG six Avengers reunite once more. And it could finally do something that we expected out of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. What I mean is, we could see Tom Cruise's superior Iron Man arrive from Earth 838 and he could team up with Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, who would hail from another Earth. But there's another interesting idea involving the return of Iron Man. Kang could bring him back as a villain. <laughs> uh -oh. He Who Remains was the one who strictly stuck to the events of the sacred timeline. And this is the timeline where Tony Stark had the utmost importance in the universe. So maybe other Kangs ought to know that. They would be aware of how Tony was hailed as a hero in the sacred timeline. So to make a sick move against the Avengers, Kang could bring in an evil Tony Stark variant as his right-hand man. And the Avengers would have to fight against someone whom they all thought of as the biggest hero. That would be a big twist even for the viewers, as the biggest hero of the Infinity Saga could become the biggest villain of the Multiverse Saga. There's no surety that Marvel would use any of these five ideas to revive Tony. We may never get to see Iron Man in live action again, and many would argue that he shouldn't return. But there are two ways through which he will definitely return in the multiverse. The first is through What If Season 2. The first season brought back Iron Man multiple times only to kill him off. But there was one episode where Tony Stark would have teamed up with Gamora on Nid of a Lear. This episode was teased when the Watcher selected Gamora as a guardian of the multiverse. It was supposed to happen in Season 1, but it hadn't been finished by then. So, it will be released in Season 2, and Tony will definitely return there. He would also be involved in other episodes. But another way we could see his return would be as Zombie Iron Man. 
after What If Zombie episode, a Marvel zombie animated series was announced. So this is where we can see the return of Zombie Iron Man. In fact, if you remember, a Zombie Iron Man was teased back in Far From Home as well. So wouldn't it be a cool idea if one part of Battleworld and Avengers Secret Wars would involve zombies? That's where we could get a glimpse of a Zombie Iron Man in live action. Would you guys like that? What do you think about these ideas involving the return of Iron Man? Let us know whether you'd like to see him return in live action or not. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!